can you wiggle your ears? This is Science Quotidian, and that's what we're talking about today. Approximately 15% of the human population has the ability to wiggle their ears. This is controlled by muscles that surround the visible outer ear called the auricular muscle. It's important to know that even if you don't know how to wiggle your ears, you still have those auricular muscles, you just don't know how to use them. Now you may be wondering what use this ability may be and why certain members of the population have it. There have been scientific studies which have shown that it's not an exclusively genetically inherited trait. However, it has been shown to be potentially linked to tongue rolling, but only in males. This might be the reason I can wiggle my ears, and so can my sister, but neither of my parents can. In terms of function, ear wiggling is what is known as a vestigial trait. By definition, this is a characteristic retained that is not of any particular use in the present organism, but is an indication of a functional component in an ancestor. This means that although being able to wiggle your ears will not give you any advantage in your daily life, in the past, the utilization of these auricular muscles would have allowed our ancestors to direct their hearing towards a specific source, enabling them to live more efficiency and survive better. We can still see this function in animals today, such as in cats and dogs, listening for birds. Humans actually have quite an array of vestigial traits such as wisdom teeth, goosebumps, and an appendix. If you would like to hear more about these strange things your body has held on to, let us know in the comments. You may be thinking though, if wiggling our ears isn't a useful talent to have, why hasn't it disappeared? The truth lies in that although it does not help someone survive, it also does not act against their survival. Thus. It makes no difference whether a person can wiggle their ears or not. In scientific means, it is a characteristic neither selected for nor selected against. Many scientists subscribe to the belief that the reason our auricular muscles no longer help us to survive is because we developed a much better sense of sight rather than hearing as we became increasingly social animals. And so, once we started to live in groups, Collective sight became our primary defense, making hearing less of a priority, so the muscle function weakened through evolution. What about you? Can you wiggle your ears? Let us know in the comments below and any other questions you may have. For any of you who want to learn even more, we have posted some links in the description for extra reading. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of knowledge.